The opening scene begins with an animated scene of Seabrook, which was the perfect town to live in and raise children. Unfortunately, 50 years ago, a factory worker accidentally overturned a bottle of soda, causing a chemical plant explosion. A large amount of toxic gas was leaked, and as a result, nearly half of the population turned into zombies. The local government quickly acted, and a barrier was constructed to keep the zombies away from the normal people. In the next scene, we see a zombie named Zed, who lives with his father and younger sister, Zoe. They reside in a quarantined area known as Zombie Town which separates the humans from the living dead. It is revealed that scientists have recently designed a device named the Z-Band, which prevents the zombies from turning into their real selves. This allows zombie children to enter human school, where they can get equal education like human children. Meanwhile, Zed is excited to attend his first day at human school. He tries his best to get in shape, as he wants to get selected for the football team. On the contrary, his father is skeptical, as he believes that humans should not be trusted. He also advises his son to stay away from humans. Elsewhere, we are introduced to a normal high school girl named Addison. She is admitted to the same school as Zed and is looking forward to joining the cheerleading squad. However, she has a rare deformity, which causes her hair to become white. Since the people of Seabrook are against anything abnormal, Addison has to hide her secret under a wig. She is also supported by her parents, who work as zombie patrolling officers for Seabrook High School. The next day is the first day of school. Zed joins his friends and heads to the high school, and so does Addison. The zombies are excited about the proposition of finally being treated as equals, but when they arrive at the school, they realize that it isn't the case. Said to be for the safety of human students, the zombies are segregated and taught inside a separate basement. Moreover, they are not allowed to talk or even have any contact with human students. Addison believes that the zombies are just like humans, and they should be allowed to live freely. However, her popular friend, Bucky, opposes the idea and thinks that they are inferior. In the basement, the school principal, Lee, greets the zombie students but she herself appears to be disgusted by them. Zed asks the principal if they can play in the football games, to which she replies that they are not permitted to leave the basement during school time. Despite this, Zed skips class and heads upstairs to find the football field. As he is investigating the area, several students notice him and start freaking out. One of them rings the zombie alarm causing mayhem in the building. Zed tries to convince everyone that he isn't harmless, but the humans don't listen to him. Soon, he notices a group of boys approaching him and flees to the zombie safe room to hide. Simultaneously, Addison also enters the same room and notices someone inside. Because the room appears to be quite dark, neither of them can see the other's face. Addison begins conversing with Zed, unaware of his real identity. Just then, the light comes back on. And when Addison realizes that she was talking to a zombie, she punches him hard in the face. However, she soon realizes her mistake and apologies. A few moments later, Bucky and his friends arrive at the zombie safe room and take Addison away. Later, Zed tries out for the football team, but the coach turns him down due to school rules. Meanwhile, Addison and the other students are auditioning for a spot in the cheerleading team, which is being led by none other than Bucky. After a good performance, Addison is chosen for the team but her best friend, Bree, is rejected. Seeing Bree sad, Addison talks to Bucky and eventually persuades him to let Bree in. However, before both of them can join, Bucky mentions that they will have to go through a tradition which involves throwing eggs at zombie homes. The duo is puzzled, but for the sake of the cheerleading team, they agree. In the next scene, Bucky drops Addison and Bree off in the zombie town and instructs them to egg any one of the zombies' houses. Addison is astounded by the surroundings, since it is her first time in the other half of the barrier. Just then, a zombie woman approaches the group, frightening the life out of them. As a result, Bucky flees in terror, while Addison and Bree seek refuge behind some furniture. Meanwhile, Zed comes out from his house and notices the two of them. After seeing the eggs in their hands, Zed assumes that the girls have come just to egg the house. Hence, he walks inside, disappointed. Seeing this, Addison becomes sad, as she believes that the zombies deserve better treatment. The following day at school, Addison approaches Bucky and tells him not to harass the zombies, but he ignores her. He then lightly touches her hair, signaling that he will expose her flaw if she continues to rebel. Meanwhile, Zed and his friends, Eliza and Bonzo, enter the basement class and start conversing. Zed tells them about the incident from the previous day and concludes that all cheerleaders are bad. Just then, Addison arrives in the basement and apologizes to Zed for the previous evening. She then invites him to the pep rally, shocking everyone. Eliza informs her that zombies do not attend pep rallies, but Zed, who seems to have a crush on Addison, says that he will come. 
Later, Addison is pleased to see Zed and his friends in the audience in the pep rally. On the contrary, the other human students, including Bucky, are enraged. Soon, the rally begins, and everyone begins to enjoy the show. Taking advantage of the situation, Bucky brings out some fire candles on purpose, which freaks Bonzo out. Zed attempts to calm Bonzo, but he pushes him away and runs towards the stage. Zed falls down and unfortunately, his Z-band is damaged. He starts turning into a full-blown zombie, but despite this, he follows Bonzo in order to stop him. On the way, he accidentally hits some football players, causing them to fall far away. The football coach sees this and appears to be impressed. Zed then runs towards the stage and saves Addison from falling to the ground. In the process, he somehow manages to reactivate his zombie band. In the next scene, the coach takes Zed to the principal and offers him a spot in the football team. Zed agrees, but on the condition that the other zombie students be allowed to eat in the school cafeteria, just like humans. The principal reluctantly agrees, and Bucky, who overhears their conversation, is furious because his plan has failed. Later, the zombie students arrive at the cafeteria, but the human students, as usual, despise them. However, they don't complain as they are enjoying their time in the cafeteria. Meanwhile, Addison keeps staring at Zed and tells Bree that she likes him. A few moments later, Zed waves at Addison, surprising every human student. Addison then walks over to the zombie table and starts talking to them. The other zombies also seem to like her but just then, Bucky's followers arrive there and take her away. They warn her that Bucky will be upset if she talks to the zombies. After this, Addison walks away, and Zed follows her to the zombie safe room, where the duo enjoys each other's company. A while later, Addison takes their friendship to the next level by revealing that she has white hair. The next day, Zed plays his first football game, but fails to perform well and disappoints everyone. During halftime, the coach inquires about his strength during the pep rally. On remembering, Zed realizes that his zombie band can supply him with the zomboost. He immediately heads to Eliza, who is a computer expert, and requests that she hack into his zombie band. Eliza initially refuses, claiming that it is cheating, but when Zed mentions that they will get more facilities if he wins the game, she agrees. After hacking the Z-band, Zed enters the pitch again, and this time, he scores numerous goals. The Zomboost does wonders for him, and ultimately, his team is victorious. Everyone in the audience cheers for Zen, but Bucky appears to be envious. The following day, the human students' attitudes toward the zombie students change, and they start becoming friends. Their school wins football matches one after another and Zed eventually becomes the most popular student in high school. Bucky, being jealous, approaches Addison and asks her to choose between being a pro cheerleader and a pro zombie. Addison has always wanted to be a cheerleader, so she reluctantly accepts the cheerleading position. With this, she is not permitted to support Zed during the football games, despite her request. One evening, Addison receives a message from Zed, asking her to meet him at the barrier. In the next scene, Addison meets Zed, who takes her to the zombie town party. Addison is excited to be at the party, so the two of them start having fun. After a while, Addison notices Zoe, who is cheerleading by herself. She compliments her cheerleading, and the two quickly become friends. A while later, Addison also meets Eliza and finds her to be intelligent and attractive. As the duo chat, Eliza gradually comes to think of Addison as a cool human. Soon, Zed takes Addison to the zombie light garden. And as they get closer, Zed notices her white hair and compliments its beauty. The two of them are about to kiss each other when the zombie patrol arrives and shuts down the party. Zed flees, and the officer takes Addison home. Later, Addison's parents learn that their daughter is seeing a guy and inquire about him. When Addison refuses to reveal anything, her parents blackmail her by forbidding her from participating in cheerleading. The next day at school, Zed and Eliza discuss changing some functions of the zombie band. Unfortunately, Bucky's followers overhear their conversation and realize that he has been cheating with the Z-Band. Soon, they notify Bucky about the secret and plan to sabotage Zed. After a while, they go to Eliza and secretly steal her hacking computer. On the other hand, Zed meets Addison, who tells him that her parents want to see him as they don't know that he's a zombie. Later at home, Zed uses the help of his Z-Band and tries to change his appearance. Elsewhere, Addison is about to inform her parents about the truth, but just then, Zed appears, disguised as a normal human being. He impresses her parents and asks Addison out on a date. Later, as the newly formed couple is in a restaurant, Addison expresses her dissatisfaction that they're changing themselves rather than changing society's thoughts. In the next scene, we are taken to the home game, where the entire crowd is cheering for Zed and his team. Surprisingly, Addison is also supporting him, despite being ordered by Bucky to not do so. Meanwhile, Bucky's followers are tampering with Eliza's computer in an attempt to destroy Zed's Z-Band. 
Soon, the plan works, and Zed is unable to use the Zomboost. However, using his determination and perseverance, he manages to play beautifully and score the winning goal for his team. Just as Zed is celebrating with his teammates, Bucky's followers disintegrate the Z-Band and make it offline. As a result, Zed, along with Eliza and Bonzo transform into zombies and start attacking humans. Zed pursues Bucky, but the zombie patrol arrives and takes control of him. In no time, all humans start yelling at the zombies, so Addison stands up to them and criticizes human selfishness. She also reveals that Zed has put his life in danger in order to lead their team to several victories. She then removes her wig, revealing her natural hair to everyone, but the audience boos her. Following this, the zombies are returned to zombie town, while Eliza is disappointed in humans, claiming that they will never change. The next day, Bucky confronts every single cheerleader who is wearing zombie attire. On the other hand, the zombies have now returned to the basement class. After learning that Eliza is planning to sabotage the cheerleader championship competition, Zed and Bonzo rush to stop her. When they arrive, Zed tries to persuade Eliza to stop, but Addison arrives and supports Eliza. However, Zed convinces them that this is not the zombie way to retaliate. Amidst their heated discussion, they soon realize that their school's performance isn't going well and as a result, the audience starts booing them. Just then, Zoe walks onto the stage and begins performing on her own. Seeing this, Zed gathers the zombies and cheerleaders and performs on stage. Meanwhile, Bucky is impressed by little Zoe's courage, so he changes his mind and joins the zombies on stage. Together, they perform an impressive dance routine, which sends the audience into a state of frenzy. After the performance, Zed and Addison hug each other. The movie then cuts to a few days later, where it is revealed that Seabrook High School didn't win the competition. However, what they did win was the perception of humans, who have now started liking the zombies. The movie ends as the zombies and humans dance together and celebrate a festival in zombie town.